Have you ever met someone that instantly felt like home? They felt familiar, like you knew them in a hundred lifetimes. They felt so familiar. It's like you've known them before. It's like you were meant to meet them, but you just don't know why. Have you ever been in a toxic relationship that hurts you, but for some reason it feels so good and it's an addictive chase that you just can't stop going after? If you have felt any of these things with someone, then you may be dealing with a karmic partner. And if you are dealing with a karmic partner, you need to watch this video. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley. I make content on spirituality, mindfulness, personal development, and so, so much more. I also like to joke around, laugh, have a good time, and make spirituality easy for people who are new to this world. So today we're talking about karmic partners. I think it's a very important topic to discuss. I've been in a karmic relationship before. It is absolutely draining. It is absolutely necessary. So much healing comes out of it. So many life lessons come out of it. And it's one of those situations that you gotta go through in order to grow through it and it sucks but it is a beautiful thing for your healing journey so a lot of people get karmic partners soulmates and twin flames confused i have a video all about twin flames so if you want to know about your twin flame go check that out i like to separate twin flames karmics and soulmates into three different categories as i heard from a youtuber named magnetize yourself um, she referred to twin flames as a mirror of you and it's a fulfilling healing relationship that is meant for you a karmic partner is a cycle this is a cycle that must happen but they are not meant to be in your life for too long they are a temporary connection and then a soulmate is a best friend a beautiful harmonious easy relationship so i have a video on twin flames go check that out i will be making one on soulmates and i'm gonna make a comparison video between the three but today we're talking about karmic. So I've got my little handy dandy notebook right here and I'm gonna get right into the video. Before I do, please, please, please like, engage with my content, comment, subscribe, all of that helps me out so much. So if you don't know, a karmic relationship is a type of soulmate. It's commonly confused with twin flames, like I mentioned, but karmic relationships are different. They have a necessary purpose to your healing journey. They're meant to purge you of your toxic traits, your fears, your limiting beliefs, your toxic patterns, all of that. They are literally meant to purge you of that. A toxic relationship helps you learn lessons for greater spiritual healing. So I'm gonna give you a quick story time on my karmic relationship. So I met my karmic in 2015 instantly when we met i was drawn to this person like no tomorrow it was crazy i don't even i don't even know how to explain the feeling that i had when i met my karmic partner it was like oh my god i've known this person for lifetimes i like who is this person why was i meant to meet them i knew right away that they were going to play a significant role in my life at the time I didn't know what that meant. I was actually talking to another person. I wasn't romantically interested in this person at all, but I just knew like, holy shit, there's some weird type of energetic connection here. I don't know what it is, but I feel very drawn to this person. It was so crazy. Fast forward a few years later, we reconnect after both of us have gone through some relationships and we end up in a relationship. Right away, there were many incompatibilities and red flags that I probably shouldn't have ignored, but I did ignore them, unfortunately. Sorry, I shouldn't say unfortunately because everything happens for a reason. But anyways, we end up in a romantic relationship and this relationship lasts three years and it's a cycle. It's one of those relationships that we are together, all of these like bad things are happening, we're pulling the worst out of each other, we break up and we get drawn right back to each other like a magnet. The problem with my karmic is that my karmic lesson should have been learned the first time we broke up. We should have had our little one year relationship broken up, gone our separate ways, healed and learned from it but I wasn't ready for that and neither was he. So we just kept breaking up and going right back to each other and restarting the cycle. And when I tell you it was a cycle, I really mean it. Our cycle was like clockwork. We would get together at the end of summer. We would get really serious by like November and then we'd break up by December, get back together by April. And this happened three years in a row, like clockwork, all the time we just keep breaking up and getting back together at the same time, taking the time apart from each other. I would do all this healing, I would learn, I would you know, go through all this shadow work, my heartbreak, all these fucked up feelings, and then I would just ignore the fact that I went through all of that and I would go right back to him and vice. I could have done so much growing and healing had I just like, stayed broken up with this person the first time but apparently i wasn't ready for that my soul wasn't ready for that so i ended up in a three-year cycle and as soon as we finally ended we we're finally ready to actually leave each other for good i healed so much and i uncovered so many parts of myself and that was the most recent breakup that i went through last year and like clockwork we actually ended up breaking up and having a discussion around the same time which was the april mark where we'd normally restart the cycle that was when it finally ended so it literally was right on schedule crazy shit 
I don't even know sometimes when I say it out loud it just sounds like made up it was the weirdest experience of my life to think back on like I can't even believe that people don't believe in karmic relationships because mine was so clearly a karmic and I always find that there are little parts of him that are like pulling me back to his energy like I'll be somewhere and, and it'll have something to do with him or someone that I know I meet will know him or he would he reached out to me things like that like it's like the universe is like trying to test me like hey are you gonna, are you gonna go back to this karmic energy are you ready to evolve or are you gonna go back it's like testing me and i've been passing all the tests i have no temptation to go back i'm perfectly fine i have officially ended my karmic cycle with that person which is beautiful have you ended yours do you need to end yours okay let's talk about it why should you end your karmic cycle a karmic relationship is not meant to last i know it feels like it's meant to last because this relationship is so fun so exciting so addictive it's it feels so good but it feels so bad at the same time it's not meant to last you're meant to meet this person you're meant to spend time with them but it's not meant to last a karmic relationship has high highs and low lows you will feel like you're on top of the world with this person the love is so strong it's so fun it's so fulfilling but then when it's low it's it's low it is it is bad the purpose of this is to pull out all of your toxic traits so that's why you'll find that you bring out the worst in them and they bring out the worst in you it's revealing your shadow side to yourself it's like a mirror you're literally revealing yourself to your shadow side and when you see that that's when you should probably walk away but when you don't it's just pulling your shadow out of you more and more and you end up just in this constant loop because once you get comfortable with this why are you gonna walk away? You're already used to the toxicity. You're already used to the shadow side. You're already used to all of these negative behaviors that it's like, why am I gonna walk away at this point? I'm already, I'm already dealing with this for the past three years. It starts to feel normal. It's not normal. The purpose is that you're trying to enter deeper healing and self-love. The ultimate act of self-love in a karmic relationship is to walk away from the relationship. I truly felt so much love for myself after I walked away because I was like, oh my God, that was hard at the time i mean i knew it was what i needed to do but it doesn't mean i wanted to do it my soul needed to end the relationship my heart wasn't ready but when i went past what my heart and my emotions wanted and i did what needed to be done that was the biggest act of self-love that i could have done for myself at that time and i'm so proud of myself for doing it because i've just grown and evolved so much since that point in my life and i'm so fucking grateful look at it this way we all come to earth with karmic baggage that needs to be healed we have a soul contract with these karmic relationships in our lives. This soul contract is that we will enter each other's lives at a specific time in order to release deeper healing. It's inevitable. It is inevitable. You have soul contracts with multiple people. Some of them are twin flames, some of them are soulmates, some of them are karmic soulmates or karmic partners. And the soul contract that you have with that karmic, it's gonna play out whether you like it or not. It's just a matter of how long is it gonna play out? How, how long are you gonna let this shit drag out for? Hopefully not three years like I did, you know? Again, no regrets, everything happens for a reason. However, I know it didn't need to last that long. I could have learned the lessons in 2018, 2019, but I didn't, 2019, I don't know. I didn't and here I am, but it's okay. Step into your power and walk away. If you're watching this video, it's because you know what a karmic kinda is, you probably have an idea and it, the toxicity of it i understand it can be fun and thrilling and addictive i get it like trust me i've been there breaking up and getting back together is kind of fun it's like a chase and <laughs> it's not good for you we know this right you know this it's not good for you so stop after you walk away from a karmic you're gonna find the universe is testing you it's gonna be pulling you back to this person like i mentioned do not give in to that resist the urge to go back because once you're back in the cycle it's gonna be like another year of it or however long your loops last it's gonna continue on you need that tower moment to really disrupt the energy of you two and just break apart so that you guys can successfully walk away from each other and heal because i'm sure the same way i've had all this deep healing with myself since we've broken up i'm sure that this person has too like i probably wouldn't recognize half the qualities in him today because we needed each other to become our a higher version of ourselves. you know what i mean so I can't just sit here and be like, I've healed, I've grown, I've this, I've that, and then just be like, oh, he's the same person that he was. Because, I mean, maybe he is, maybe he isn't. I don't know. Maybe he needs another karmic. I don't know. But 
all I know is that this was necessary for me and this is necessary for you. So you guys need to do what you gotta do with your karmic situation because it's not it. I'm telling you it's not it. Essentially what a karmic is, like I said, it's a mirror. You're really feeling attractions based on like unhealed wounds and patterns and unhealed childhood, things like that. The toxic patterns keep pulling you in. It's kind of like a trauma bond in a way. Anyways, now that you really know what a karmic is all about, I want to give you some signs that you are dealing with a karmic. Okay, number one, it's addictive. It's an addictive relationship. Addictive things are not good for us. Cigarettes are addictive. Alcohol is addictive. Weed is addictive. Mm mentally addictive takeout is addictive sugar is addictive we love it it's a temporary high it's pleasure and then it it goes away because it's not good for us you know the addiction that comes with a karmic cycle should tell you enough that it's it's toxic number two you have really high highs and really low lows your sex is probably insane out of this world amazing but your fights are probably horrible like you're crying, you're screaming, it's dramatic, it's intense, it's like something you'd see in a movie. Your fights are probably really bad. I'm not a big like fighter, so with my fights, I was usually just like the emotional one that was always, always crying. And I one day like woke up and I was like, wait, I probably shouldn't be crying over my relationship every single day of my life, like this isn't healthy. And that was very telling to me and even having someone like yell at me all the time and like be mean to me all the time. Like that's the low lows of the karmic and the highs were lovely. They were amazing with this person, you know, like it felt good, but it's not real. Number three, you're in a repetitive cycle, like I mentioned. So things just happen over and over again. So for example, one thing that was really relevant to my relationship that you might be experiencing as well is you fight about the same things. You are constantly in a cycle you're not growing because again you're not meant to be together so you don't grow with each other you grow when you separate you grow without each other the point of being together is to reveal everything and have everything surface up but you don't grow together you grow without each other so when you're together there is no growth in your relationship it's stagnant and you're fighting over the same things most likely you, let's say your partner hates when you um, leave shoes at the door you're gonna fight about leaving shoes at the door, door over and over and over and over and over again. You're not gonna fight about new shit. Couples and relationships, having fights is so normal, of course, we know this, but you fight, you talk about it, you grow, you move on. Maybe you fight about it a second time because you know somebody needs to be told twice, but you move on and then you fight a week later over something brand new. It's a whole new fight. You're coming up on a new challenge, it's different. In a karmic, you're fighting about the same things over and over again and there's no progress. You're just here. You're not going up. You're not elevating. You're stagnant. You're not moving. It's the same thing over and over again. The sign that you've met them is that when you meet them, you feel like a magnet. You feel so pulled to them. This can be a trait of a twin flame as well, but you're going to kind of have to see it play out before you really know. But there is an instant attraction to a karmic. Like you've known them for lifetimes. They feel so familiar. It's actually like chilling. It's really weird. Another point is that a karmic is going to feel like love, especially like quickly. It's going to feel like really fast love, almost love at first sight. But love isn't painful. Love has painful moments. Yes, of course. But love is not painful. So don't get it twisted if you find that your karmic is bringing out a lot of unhealed wounds within you You spend time with them and you find that you're reflecting on a lot of things that you want to work on They bring out your toxic side that doesn't come out with anybody else Very likely a karmic a karmic partner feels like two broken puzzle pieces that are fitting together I heard that in a video and I don't remember whose video it was but I heard it and I was like wow That's exactly what it feels like. It's not like two shiny new puzzles from a puzzle you just open fitting together it's like two rickety little broken puzzle pieces from a thrifted puzzle from the 1970s being put together it's just it's not it yeah you kind of fit but like should you be fitting together like do you need to play this puzzle do you need to use this puzzle or can you go find a, another puzzle that's better suited to you that's more fun and nicer and prettier <laughs> so overall if you find that you're dealing with a lot of these traits in your relationship it's very likely that you're dealing with the karmic and I want you to understand that you are not going to grow and evolve if you continue to stay with this person so I really highly suggest that you do what you need to do and end the cycle I know it's painful it's gonna suck it's gonna it's gonna suck it's not fun I went through heartbreak so many times with that person like but each heartbreak got easier and easier I won't lie it's awful 
and it's shitty but you will come out 10 times stronger you're gonna love yourself so much more you're gonna feel so good about the person that you are you're gonna be so proud of yourself for walking away and the biggest thing that you'll notice is that when you grow from it and you evolve you're gonna look back and be like oh my god what was I doing you won't even look back and be sad because there are some relationships that people look back on years later and they're like damn that was a good one you're gonna look back and you're gonna be like no this is what had to be done like they, we needed this they needed it and I needed it you know so do what you have to do ask yourself important questions what value do they bring to my life do I find myself to be more happy or more sad are there more highs are there more lows what is attracting me to this person these are important questions that you need to ask yourself but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're dealing with a karmic then break up with them <laughs> I'm so sorry I gotta be blunt if you need advice on any of the situation, feel free to drop a comment because I have done so much research on karmic partners for the past couple years that I really feel like I'm equipped to answer many different types of questions you guys might have on it. So yeah, feel free to drop some questions in the comments. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm sending you lots of love and healing if you're dealing with the situation. It's not fun and I'm so sorry if you're going through it because I've been through it and it hurts. It hurts like hell. So I really hope you're okay and I really believe that you're gonna get through it. You're going to get through it. Um, be strong and do what you got to do. Okay? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.